this is our second lesson of the week, and now we're going to use what we learned last lesson, the properties of quadratical and triangles, to solve problems. And we're actually starting with a triangle. I'm solving the examples on page 146, so I think it's probably a good idea to have page 146 next so you can see the shapes, and you can just read. I'm just, I'm just going through there just like they do. So I've got a triangle. I've got all these angles. I'm also told that um, these two lines parallel to each other, and then I asked to find x. Okay. I asked to find x. Now, if you remember last uh, week, we had a look at this property where the external angle, this is called an external angle. External means it's outside of this triangle. So look at that triangle EBC. This angle is external angle. So I know that 8x, the external angle, is equal to the sum of the opposite internal angle. In this case, it's 4x plus 8. Okay, so 8x equal to that angle plus that angle. And i got to write that down. Okay, i got to write the reason. The reason is external angle equals sum of opposite internal angle. Okay? Right? Now, this is, you know, this helped me to find x, isn't it? Because that's an algebraic equation. So I'm going to do minus 4x. I'll get 4x equals 80. And that means x equals 20. Okay, so that's the first bit that I was asked to do is to find, uh, uh, to find x. Now, they also asked me, hence, hence mean therefore, prove that EC equals BC. So I need to show that those two sides are the same. Okay, but what is this angle? Okay, I can call it B1. I can put a little one here. If I put, if you put one on your on your uh, drawing, then you can say, okay, angle B1. This means an angle is equal to four times twenty because I just found the x is twenty and, and it tells us this is four x. So that's equal eighty, which is therefore equal to this angle. I'll call that E1. Okay, so we prove that those two angles are the same. And then also last week we learned that if we have equal angles in a triangle, we call that angle isosceles, that means the opposite sides are also equal. So these two sides are equal. So therefore, okay, this is the sign for therefore, uh, EC equals BC, and we need to write Y. We need to use that property which we mentioned last, lesson, last week, uh, opposites so, or sides, Right, like it's equal size, opposite, equal angle. Right angle, not this. Okay. So that's the first part of the question. Then they asked me, I think, to find all these letters. Y, Q, Z, P. Okay. Uh, now, again here, uh, I gave you a hint. We always, we should always go alphabetically. It will make my li our life easier. So, which comes first? P, Q, Z, the Y. P comes first. All right. So, how do I know, how do I find this angle? How do I find angle P? Now, if I know these two lines are parallel, let's just write that as two. If these two are parallels, then these two angles are equal. So, P is also going to be 80 degrees. What's the reason? What do we call these uh, angles? Correct. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles equal. But remember, we need to mention which lines are parallel. The parallel lines are FA parallel to EB. You will not get this mark unless you mention which lines are parallel. Okay? Right. Next one, after P, I guess it will be Q, isn't it? Now, Q is also pretty easy because we know this is 80. So, Q must be 100, right? Why is that? Q plus 80 equals 180 degrees. Okay? And what's the property here? Um, uh, adjacent angle on a line. Okay? And therefore, Q equals 100. Okay? And that means, uh, next one, I guess, which one will be the next in line? Uh, y, right? Oops, sorry, I got this up here, okay? So I know, let's do Y. Now, how, how do I figure out Y? I say, okay, Y plus 80. This is 80. We also know this is 80, so 
y plus 80 plus 80, what does that have to be equal to? 180, right? And why is that? Okay, running out of space here. Sum of angles in a triangle. Okay, sum of angles in a triangle will always get to 180. So this, I'm going to just skip it, do it quick. 80 plus 80 is 160. So y equal 20. And then the last one we need to find is z. Now again, I found already p. I know that p was 80. Y I just found now is 20. So if I'm adding z, uh, z to p and y, also going to get 180. Why? I'm not going to write it now. But it's the same reason. You need to write it. Sum of angles in a triangle. So therefore z equals to 80. So yeah, I just added those to get 100. Z must be equal to 80. Okay? Right? I'll pause here. We'll move on to another example. Right, so the second example, okay, involve a parallelogram, okay? Um, and we're told uh, that those three sides are all equal. Can you see these? It's really on your... Let me just, let me just draw it a little bit further away. Okay, yeah, I think that's better. So we've got the parallelogram, and we also told that this, all these sides are equal. We are, and, and that's also equal to that. And we want to find the size of the sides, how big they are, and the angles. And we also told that this is six centimeters. Okay, so if P A P T is six centimeters, we also know that P Q, okay, is which it's equal to P T equals six centimeters. Okay, because okay, because we we just told that they're all equal. But I know it sounds funny, even if they told us they're equal, we need to write that as a proof. How do I know that PQ is 6 centimeters? Because it's given. So, if you told something in the question, okay, and you want to use it, just says, yes, it's equal also 6 centimeters because it's given. You have to write that given. If you don't write that given, you're not going to get the mark. Right, so now, if PQ is 6 centimeters, that means SR, let me write in black, SR is also equal to PQ, which is equal to 6 centimeters, okay? And why is that? Why are these equal? Here is a property of parallelogram. That's why you had to study that table of, in page 145. Opposite sides on the parallelogram are equal. So you've got to write down opposite side on parallelogram. In parallelogram, we usually write par. Par. P-A-R-N. Not far, but par. Equal. Okay, uh, so we know now this is also 6 centimeters. So we know this is 6 centimeters, we know that's 6 centimeters. Now we want to know those two sides, right? That's what we want to know. But we know that QT okay, is also equal to oh, hold on, TR, which is also equal to PT, which is equal to 6 centimeters. So all these guys are also 6 centimeters. And what, what's the reason for that? Well, we were told, okay? So we've got to write it, given. Right? And then, we know that QR, because this is the sign we're after, right? We're after that sign now, is equal to 6 plus 6, equal 12, okay? Because obviously, QR is what QT plus TR. We don't need to actually write Y. You can see it, okay? So it's 12. But also, now we know what PS equals. PS is equal to QR, which is equal to 12. Why are those two sides equal? Correct, because they are opposite sides on a parallelogram. Opposite side in parallelogram are equal. Okay? So that, we sorted out all the sides. We figure out what all the sides. Now we got to get the angles. Okay? Will I have enough space? I think so. Okay? We'll just move you a little bit down there. Right, um, so let's start with this uh, triangle. I'm just going to pause here, make a look. Okay. Um, so let's look at this triangle. This triangle with all the sides equal to it. What do we call it? It's not isosceles. Isosceles is when two sides are equal. When they're all equal, we call it equiangular or equilateral. Equiangular or equ equilateral means all sides are equal. But if all sides are equal, then also all angles must be equal. And if all angles are equal and they're all added to 180, there's only one angle that satisfies that, and that's 60 degrees. So if you have an equilateral angle, 
and, and triangle, it's also an equiangular triangle. And that means it's all angles are equal 60. Okay, so we can write down Q, angle Q, is equal 60 degrees. And you can, uh, what the reason we can, si can say there, uh, we can just, as a reason, just write down triangle EQT is equilateral. Equilateral. Yeah? Right? Triangle PQT is equilateral. Equilateral means all the sides are equal. Equiangular means all, tri all angles are equal. Okay? It's not the same thing, but it implies each other. Right, now if we know that Q is 60 degrees, then we should know what P is. Because angle P, okay, angle P, uh, angle P and angle Q have to add up to 180. Why is that? Because these parallels are, these lines are parallel and these are co interior angles. So it's going to be co interior angles. Uh, and you need to write down what lines are parallel here. It's PS parallel to QR. Okay? PS parallel to QR. Okay? So they add to 180, and therefore that allows you to find our P, okay? Because Q is 60, so P plus 60 is 180. P equal 120 degrees. So we found this is 60, we found that this is 120, we still need to find those two. Okay, um, now we know that opposite angles in a triangle, in a parallelogram are equal. So we can say S, angle S, equal to angle Q, which is equal to 60, and the reason is opposite angles in parallelogram. And if we know that this is 120, we will also know that R is equal to 120, because R is equal to P, for the same reason, opposite angles in a parallelogram. Okay, so we solved our first problems uh, in quadrilateral. You can do exercise one now. They don't look too difficult, so you should be fine. See you in the next lesson.